Momentum. Well, it is now. Yeah. Ran that outside line. I think that's everybody's going to be paying attention. Yeah. One and two is pretty standardized, right? That is an extremely fast lap. 2883. <laughs> Great job, Martin Shrex Jr. Oh, awesome. But again, one and two is pretty standardized on how you drive that thing, how you navigate around there. There's some options down in three and four, Bobby. Running on the bottom. You've seen a lot of cars running that middle. Yeah. But it looks like that outside line, the momentum they're able to carry. It's where you need to be. Yeah, definitely rolling up through there now. It looks like uh, when we see the, the tracker, we can see it go through there. What well, do you see this ghost car in a five? Yeah. Pulling away from that guy. Yeah, a the, true exit, or excuse me, that's the ghost car of Eric Jones. Yeah. 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 It's not going to be another fast one. Truex Logano and Blaney are locked in. He beats now, the bubble by three. And Kyle Larson. Wins. Wow. You want 73. That bumps Eric Jones. And it's down to Alex Bowman versus Kurt Busch for the final spot in the final round. Nice Mark Martin Valvoline Southern 500 winning paint scheme for Bowman. Just a little bit there. Car looks a little tight. Yeah. Slow to rotate down the hill. See if he can make up the difference. Maybe running that outside line if he can momentum around it. Early downshift had to slow up the car to keep from hitting the wall. I'm afraid it might not be there, Bobby. No, no, no. It, it definitely didn't get through the either corner very good, especially down there in three or four. You know, just need a little bit to, to catch up on uh, Kurt Busch. Not, not quite enough.